Hey folks, Bob here. As you can see, the shop, the bay behind me in the shop is empty. Got some tools and a few little pieces of land, laying around we need to pick up from the last little job we had working, we were working with. But uh, we are ready to pull in one of the projects. It's one of the cars that we've been working with on the channel. Uh, we're ready to go at it a little bit harder. We're gonna pull it in the shop. I've got a list made out. So uh, let me show you what that is and let me show you the list, okay? First of all, we've got to clean this bay out before we do anything. we got some stuff over here, and the engine hoist needs to be folded back up. Got to figure out what we're going to do with that engine. That's the uh, Golden Commando engine. Golden Commando. That's the Golden Line engine. <laughs> and I uh, scored these. We'll talk about those later. We've got a plan for those. And get this ladder out of the way. We had to move it to get some stuff out from around the back over there. So... And uh, just, just clean, I kind of tidy up the place, and we're getting ready to pull this car back in the shop. That's the 80 Cordoba Slant 6. I already done a lot of work to it. Uh, well, I shouldn't say a lot of work. It's had four floor pans put in it. But we're, uh, we're getting ready to uh, do this list here. I've made up a list of things I want to do. It's a slant six and it's gonna be kind of a street strip car running the street class at the local tracks. They've already started running some of those classes at some of the tracks. I think there's three tracks locally just running those this year. We've got a bunch of racetracks around. I think there's six uh, within a two hour drive. So uh, yes, yeah, six or seven. So I think three of them are running street class. Actually, I think that Farmington's running street class. That'd make four, but uh, anyway. We're going to try to get as much of this stuff done as we can. The great pollening will be coming in here soon. And everything will turn green. And then after that, it'll start getting hot. So we've got a little bit of work to do. It looks like not, not a lot of time. And as you can see, the Imperial's on the trailer. We just got, took it out Friday night, and it ran its best it's ever run. We're going to kind of keep that a secret for right now. Uh, we actually found some things that we can do to make it better but it ran so darn good and it was so darn consistent and we got so many other cars to work on probably gonna leave the imperial b for now and we'll take it out and run it some more hopefully in the next week or so but the cordoba is our main focus we want to get it in and get started on that list so i'll i got it on charger that battery's dead and uh i found a place uh, everybody says walmart it sells decent but th like three-year batteries for 70 bucks I need to look into that. Home Depot had a good price on them too, but they won't nowhere near 70 bucks. But if I can get a $70 battery for this car, that'd be perfect. Everybody says they last. Well, I shouldn't say everybody. The couple of people I've talked to said they've had good luck with them. Also, I need to put on my list power wash this thing. Uh, I got that simple, not simple green, that purple power. See if we can't clean this old girl up a little bit. Now, this engine, uh, it's got a little bit of a miss to it. It's set for a long time and um, there's no choke in the carburetor so it's very difficult to get started and i'm thinking maybe the compression is a little bit low so uh we're gonna do that we're gonna do the compression test just basically just kind of clean it up good and uh, i like to get it where i can drive it in and out of the shop so i can can clean it up good and uh i don't want to clean it inside the shop but uh get started on it and uh, i've got these pieces here they're in the trunk and i've got a as you saw on the list, they got a Super 6 intake and a set of headers. I say set of headers because they're split. It's three, it's two sections, three pipes each. See if we can't get them on. And uh, just kind of slowly work on it. Got to fix the hood. And let's uh, see if we can't make this a decent little affordable. That's another thing. We want this to be an affordable car. A lot of you guys don't have a lot of money, and I get it. And gas is high, and everything's high. You don't need to go out and buy a big block Camaro or a big block Cuda. It's unreasonable now. It's just out of reach of the average guy. So we're going to take this little slant six Cordova and we'll do what we can. Maybe pull the head, see if we can get the uh, maybe some uh, performance valve job done on it. Maybe slide a camshaft in it. Who knows what we'll do to it. But for right now, we just want to get it running good. Uh, one time when I did start up, I heard a little bit of an engine noise, but it hasn't done that since. And the oil pressure light doesn't come on on the dash. So it's something, maybe the center, you center unit's bad. And this, all this emission stuff has been disconnected. So we may have some vacuum leaks going on. I 
not right there, of course. We need to plug all that, but we'll see how far we can get with it and, and stay within a reasonable budget. I'm probably a little over two grand in this car, maybe 2,500 in it now with the, the metal work. And uh, if we can stay under five grand, maybe six, and I know a slant six isn't gonna be terrible fast, but we can have fun with it, guys. So stay tuned, let's get started on this car. This is uh, this will be part one of this video. Okay, folks, so we've been charging the battery for maybe an hour, and I got the shock cleaned out pretty good. I think it's good enough to get the car in here. And you can see we were doing burnouts with the Imperial last time the Imperial was in here. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, let's see if we can't get the Cordova in here and get started on it. And I'll probably call a buddy of mine one day in the next couple of days and have him come over and help me remove that hood. And uh, we'll set it outside on uh, some type of stand or table. And I'll get started on uh, getting the underside of it looking nice and pretty. So I'm going to set you up on a tripod and we're going to uh, see if we can't get it fired up and get it in the shop. Okay guys, so I got you set up on the tripod. I'm gonna go out and try to start the car. It's been charging for, like I said, about an hour. And uh, a trickle charge, two amp trickle charge. I'm gonna switch it to uh, start, start uh, engine start mode. And I'm gonna try to not run any uh, carburetor cleaner in it. I use carburetor cleaner instead of uh, ether. And uh, let's see if it'll start up on its own uh, with the booster at uh, start charge and uh, see what happens. As you saw, it started right up. So having it on that charger helped. And uh, then of course the booster right there at the end. The engine seemed to be okay. No knocks, noises. Typical slant six when you first start them up. They got those mechanical lifters. But even that, it was real quiet. It wasn't that bad. Doesn't smoke. I think we've got a good engine here. But it's definitely got a, you hear a little passing. Got a little bit of a misfire. Could be a back release. We're about to get in here and find all that out. I'm gonna call a buddy of mine. See if I can get him to help me get this hood off. 
and uh, I'm probably going to end this video right here. The next video you see, you'll see will probably be us working on the hood or maybe the compressor test. But actually, part of the next video is going to be cleaning, cleaning up around here. Okay, I had to cut the engine off because it's awful noisy. I hope you heard all that. But, uh, definitely got uh, brakes are still a little soft. So uh, if I swap out that rear end, I won't really worry about the rear brakes until I do that. But uh, I got my list. I've added a couple of things to it. I've added an oil change and a transmission change, fluid change and filter. So folks, this will probably do it for this video. It's getting kind of long. The next video, I think what we'll do next, we'll get the hood off. We'll assess what we need to do there. If we need to sandblast that or if we can just scuff it with the, oh, I don't know, Brillo pad, Scotch brake pad, whatever, and then, and then paint it or whatever we need to do, we'll do that. And then, of course, we'll also do the uh, power washing of the hood. You see, it is an electronic ignition car. It wasn't a lean burner, so that's a good thing. So uh, we're going to turn it into a little hot rod. We've got something smoking right there. It's probably an oil leak. Have no idea. <laughs> Never seen that before. But, uh, smells like electrical. We'll watch that for a minute. See what if it gets worse or better or whatever. All right, folks. So this is uh, maybe the fourth or fifth uh, episode we've had on this car. The last one we were washing it out in the yard. It was real cold that day. And uh, we'll see what happens on this one. Uh, you want to stay you know subscribe and hit that like button and follow along because i'm gonna try to show you guys how to build a these early late 70s early 80s chrysler parts are fairly inexpensive to buy they're pretty good little cars and we'll have some fun with it play with it at track a little bit maybe do some car shows if we get it looking nice enough and uh it's still smoking pretty good Folks, go down and look at some of the other videos we got and uh, hit the like button on those. We got all kinds of content. I did do some racing with the, uh, not racing, but testing with the, the Imperial Friday night, but we didn't get a lot of good video, so I don't think I'll post any videos of that. I might. We'll look through them again, but uh, there wasn't a lot of cars there either. It was a Friday night, and they normally test on Thursday night, but due to rain, they had to switch it to Friday, so wasn't a lot of cars showed up, so we had a good test, but... Uh, I was all over the place trying to get different angles and uh, we were working on the car, so I didn't get a lot of good videos. So hit that thumbs up, folks. I hope you enjoy this as we go along with this project and try to get this car looking good and working good. Bob out.